guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm teaching you how to increase accuracy. So like if you're having a hard time with accuracy, or you just want to get better accuracy, you came to the right video. So I have five ways on how you can increase your accuracy. Let's hop right into it. So the first way is aim small, miss small. So what I mean by that is if you're aiming, most guys will say, oh, what are you aiming at when you're throwing a, um, a pitch? Well, they usually say, oh, the glove. Well, when I mean aim small, miss small, why don't you try to aim at a spot in the glove? So instead, if you're aiming at the glove, you might miss in this way. If you aim at a spot, you'll miss in this length, right? It'll be a lot closer. So when you aim small, you're mi at, you'll miss at a smaller point, right? So that is the first way that you can increase your accuracy when pitching. Now the second way is like if you're having a hard time and you're like walking a lot of guys, just take a deep breath, chill out, maybe walk around the mound once. Think about what you need to do. And honestly, taking a deep breath is big. It calms your body down and it gets you ready in the mental game for to throw a strike the next pitch, right? So that's the second way that you can increase your throwing accuracy when pitching, or honestly any other position. Third is if you throw a strike, it's this one's a little bit more difficult to do, um, but if you throw a strike, try to re remember your. Um, Try to remember your release point and arm slot the same exact time you threw a strike last time. And if you can do that every time, you can usually throw strikes every time. Now that one is a little bit more self-explanatory, self but it's also a little bit more difficult to do, right? You're not a pro, it's hard, it's really hard to paint the corners or just throw a strike every time. So. Again, a little bit uh, relating to aim small, miss small, try to um, uh, remember the arm slot and release point at, if you throw a strike the last time, right? So that's the third way. Now the fourth way is if you walk a guy, don't let it get to your head. Pit, ba playing baseball, to be honest, not just pitching, but playing baseball, Part of it is the physical game, and the other part is the mental game. You're only playing as 50% as good if, you're, if your mental game is bad, right? So you need to maintain a good mental game and keep your mind right, even if you walk a couple guys. What's the worst thing you, that can happen, right? You give up a run, your team will get you back in the next inning, right? Or, honestly, even better, say, oh, this is the only guy I'm going to walk this inning. I'm not letting it get to me. The next guy I'm striking out in three pitches, right? So you want to maintain that mental game while you're pitching and doing anything else on the baseball field, to be honest, right? So that's the fourth way on how you can increase your throwing accuracy. Now the fifth way is getting in the zone. So when you're in the bullpen or something, even just warming up for the game, get in the zone, right? As long as you can get in the zone, you're going to be just fine. Like for me, getting in the zone means throwing strikes, getting everything in the strike zone. And if you're throwing that in the bullpen, that will transfer to the games and you'll start throwing strikes in the games, right? So that is the fifth and last way that you can increase your throwing accuracy, okay? So if you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. And peace.